Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kaiserreich. I'm back. It's been three weeks, I want to say. Something like that. Uh, I have had laryngitis. I lost my voice for three weeks. I got it back, like, Thursday, Friday-ish. Even then, like, I don't sound how I did three weeks ago. Like, I'm, I'm still a little fricked up. Just, just, just a bit. But I'm here. I'm here and I'm not dead. So you know what? I will, I will take that. Um, so we're doing a new series. Uh, all, all the old series. It's been like three weeks. Like all that stuff. We're not going to be continuing any of them. So, I'm sorry. Like, I know people like some of the, uh, the Yugoslavia or, or Portugal. It's been a month since I've recorded those. We're, we're going to get some fresh stuff in here. Uh, we're going to play guys the PSA today. Not really a, um, a, a, a big plan. I, I don't have any plans for the series, like which uh, politics we're going to go for or anything like that. We're we're just gonna we're, we'll win this little war and then we'll see what follows after that. <clears throat> so, we got thirty days of the war begins. Uh, three, four. I accidentally clicked that. I should have gone for nine in North California, where it would have been a little bit better. But I pressed by accident. Give me army and navy experience. And, and by extension, it's been about a month since I've played Hearts of Iron Four. Like this is probably the longest I've gotten without playing Hoi Four since. 2017 when I moved different cities and I just literally did not have a uh, computer. Also, I realized, one second, you don't actually have any computer audio. Uh, let me fix that for you. There you go. Some computer audio for you as well. You can now listen to the music. So, uh, civilian factories. Why the hell is the AI building this? Go. So, military factory in San Francisco seems okay. Uh, research. I need to change you immediately. This is a garbage tech. Uh, let's go radio. Would be nice to have that for sure. The other ones are okay. We're f I'm fine with the rest. Dockyards would go for... Let's say five on convoy. We'll get a little bit of... Just say submarine seems okay. We'll go with like some cheap, shitty submarines. That should be fine for us. And we'll also build military factories, let's just say, in LA. Fantastic. But yeah, like, like I said, I've been sick for... I mean, here's the, the, the weird thing is, like, I was sick for three days. Where I had, like, a fever of 39 degrees, bad cough. The back, actually, the cough was so bad, it actually kept me up at night. Um, but then I just lost my voice. And it's like, well, what the fuck? What do you do at that point? When, when you want to make content and you don't have a voice. Like, it fucking sucked. At least when I had uh, COVID. Uh, this would have been last Easter, I want to say. You know, it's like I felt kind of shitty. But I had a voice. I could I could have still made content. But it's like, you're just fucked. You're fucked for three weeks. It's the loudest I could talk. Was that like a whisper? It was like this. It just would have been unfucking watchable. Anyways, uh, the Pacific Declaration. We're 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 the true America. MacArthur, uh, Reed, Huey Long. They're all stinky pants. We hate all of them. We're we're America. We're the Republic. Um, we're, I'm not gonna be really reading too many events while I still want to sound like this. Okay, MacArthur's sworn as president. Because reading. It's, it's weird that reading out loud, like, and also projecting reading, it kind of, like, takes a lot out of you. I don't know if that's just me. That's just, like, a me issue. But it, take, it takes a lot out of you, which I find very... It's a little strange. Um, so we don't know what Arthur's going to be doing. Because uh, he's got to choose his, like, battle plan. Okay, we need to call for new elections. We get some more governors. Okay, fantastic. Means we can now put our front line uh, closer towards the front. Move you guys forward. We get any more units out of this? Mm, maybe, maybe. I think we have some units in Idaho. No, we just have twelve. Like, so we didn't get any more troops out of this. We're we're really in the same situation. When are you done? You're done in four days. We'll get our nine units afterwards. Okay, so we should get some other units. New Mexico's fallen to Huey's long government. How many units got here? I'm gonna say ten on you. We're gonna keep. Four on the border with uh, the Bacon Union State. We might also get a border with the CSA. It kind of depends on how these states kind of affect one way or the other. Iowa surrendered. I don't remember where Iowa is. I think it's over here. Okay, capture North Rockies. Fantastic. Syndicals Revolt. The CSA probably is going to take North South Dakota. That's typically, I feel like, how this goes. Actually, what I'm going to do is have you up here. I'm going to delete this plan. Also, Fog of War is not off. There we go. Now, uh, we're going to set you guys to be the Blue Army. We're going to put you down here. What general do we have? I'm probably going to go for more of a defensive general, to be honest. I mean, 3-2. Two, 
three, two. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll go with uh, with you here. Fantastic. Seventeen more days. How long do you guys take? Your twelve days. If we get one more for free. We'll definitely, I think, go for nine. I don't know why you would. Uh... Is nine the most? It has to be, right? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go nine here. I'm surprised we only get like four out of Los Angeles, but maybe. maybe... Okay, Denver's gone for long. How many units are here, people? 1.5 million. I guess it's twice as many people. I, I guess it makes sense. I'm gonna drag you back up here. Blue Army, I want you spread out a little bit more. Like, I know, like, the front line yes, is gonna be a little bit messy for a while. <clears throat> yeah, I noticed on the code, they should end up going towards uh, the CSA. So I want you guys on the border with the CSA. They're typically going to be the uh, the most challenging faction we're going to have to fight. Huey Long, I'm really not too, too worried about, to be completely honest with you. It's really more of the CSA, but I guess our border against the, the American Union state is a lot larger than it is with the CSA. So maybe I see, maybe I have this backwards. Maybe I want to do it the other way. I'm going to get two of you on blue as well. North Carolina. The Canadians might move in here soon as well, but we'll see. We get the progressive Democrats over the Republicans. Again, I never really, really thought about which way you want to go for this. Go for the governor of California or the Car or the California senator. I don't think this really is going to make a big difference for you. Ah, uh, Fury still opening, flirting, same to the law. I don't know if it makes a big difference. You know what? I find this man a little weird looking. Let's just go for uh, Hiram Johnson there. You know what? Okay, they're, they're both old men. I guess it's not too surprising. Okay, deadline is looming. We got our nine divisions. We're going to go... It's going to put you on Huey Long. I'm going to put you four against the CSA. That seems okay. We got two, two. Most of you are like... Oh, we actually... Wait, no. We got the Carolinas. And by Carolinas, we mean the Dakotas. Fantastic. I'll take that. So go with Los Angeles next, who they are our uh, biggest population center. How many units do you guys have? 14 to 65, 24, 12 to 63. Large variations here. I do know um, that you could theoretically go into the volunteer infantry, which I believe is what you guys are, right? No, you're staying militia. Taxi doesn't show up here. Huh, interesting. I know you used to be able to modify the militia template to just make them 40 combat with heavy tanks and the game would just give you infinite heavy tanks. Apparently they've, they've actually figured out how to solve that issue, which is nice because that was broken if you were to, uh, wanting to do that. I have no command power. Fair enough. Okay, let's get our aircraft together. We'll send them against Huey Long. So we're going to send you here. And we'll just kind of move units in where we can. Move you this province, move you here, move you here. You can move here, you can move here as well. I don't want these come like overlapping if I could avoid that. Let's move away into Minnesota as well. You actually are leaving. Which I find very interesting. Not too sure why, but I mean I guess I'll take it. I see no reason not to, right? And are you guys strategically me uh, redeploying? Yes, you are. Fantastic. You know what, Blue Army? I'm going to have you set to just a very careful battle plan. Like, if there's areas that you can march into, I would love for you to do it. Go take the supply hub, actually, near Denver. I'm actually going to move you guys here. We're going to move you down like this, move you to this province. Uh, Yeah, counter, take the supply hub. That, that has to be, like, worthwhile. We got the Air Force. I mean, sure, I guess that's what the AI wanted to take uh, right away. Probably want to go for uh, Western uh, Command Defense. Because we're mostly going to be fighting a land war here. There'll be some stuff that's going to be involving going into uh, the Air Force. But it's not a huge, huge deal. You know, actually, don't. You know what, actually, I think against the CSA, an attack actually probably makes more sense. Just because this front line is a lot smaller, I, I think it'll work out better. What about Denver? Can we go from Denver from here? I'm going to send all of you against Huey Long. Military production. I don't think we really need that, to be honest. 
We got two, two, two. I guess we go with uh, Southern California next. Um, following that, we have Denver up here. Like maybe we can go take Denver right now. It actually would give us a small encirclement against these handful of divisions. I know that's not like a, a crazy amount. But I'll kind of take whatever. Also, oh, did I get... Uh, hey, they gave me... Uh, they gave me a saw in Legation City. So that's nice. Again, apparently, Legation City thinks I'm the real American garment. And I am. Thank you very much. Go take Duluth. Okay, so Denver should fall soon. We're near Santa Fe as well. What are you guys up to? We have the supply hub. It's not connected to a uh, rail line quite yet. It will be once we take you, you'll be connected over to our uh, main supply hub area. Okay, did they move one unit into Denver? 95, 97, 98. There we go. You've been pushed out. And these units here should get killed off fairly easily. I mean, getting two, uh, and serving against two divisions, I will never say no to that. Like, that, that's just a nice little thing to have. What about you guys? You guys seem okay. Thing is, when you're like the Pacific states, they're one of like the lowest population areas in the United States in 1937. We 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 won't get that many units on side, which is a little sad. On, move out. We'll take you out. You can hold position. You're fine where you're at. Get all of you. Actually, all of you stop for a second. I, mean, I think just like two units here should honestly be able to get the kill. Without having to worry too, too much. We got Minneapolis over here. We're 15. I would like to take that if we can. I guess you can go to St. Paul. That seems like that could be an okay place for you to be. How's MacArthur doing, by the way? So he's got New England. He's got Washington. That's actually a really solid state for him to be in. I'm not going to complain. Because right now, like, even though me and MacArthur, obviously, we're not uh, on good speaking terms. He's better than... Um, why do you have, like, no supplies? Move your way up here, please. What's, what's your problem? Am I training any units? I'm not. Well, we don't have that. How, do I have enough guns? We're missing 2.3 thousand rifles. The answer is, like, no. We don't really have enough materials for this war right now. And push you here. Santa Fe is a supply hub. I would like to take that immediately, please, and thank you. 62 on you. You're moving your way in. Fantastic. And I'm actually going to send you guys over to the, the CSA. And I guess after that, now that most of their states are two divisions each, we'll just deploy them closer towards the front line. I think that just makes sense. So I'll send you all up there. I think that seems okay. Okay, Minneapolis has fallen. It's not connected to our supply lines quite yet, but it will soon. We just need to take over these areas. 93, 87. Uh, I do see CSA is putting some units over here, which, I mean, obviously makes sense. Uh, so you can maybe push you like this. You're at 65%. And we have taken Santa Fe. Hopefully that might actually uh, get some supplies off of uh, Huey Long's forces. Get them killed a little bit easier here. Oh, you broke the encirclement, you piece of shit. Okay, we call the Chinese Marines. Absolutely. You, how dare you actually escape? Okay, so we have encircled you. You are connected to our supply lines, which is fantastic. Well, you coming down here. You're not technic... Actually, ah, uh, are you... You're not technically encircled quite yet. And, and the, the Great Lakes kind of play a little bit funny with Hoi 4, so we'll, we'll kind of worry about that afterwards. What about you? You're in San Francisco. Oh, you're probably, yeah, you're a legation marine. Send you here. Okay, you don't want to go there, so we'll send you over to the CSA then. I don't want to get you encircled. I'll pull you back one province. Where else do we, uh... You know, hold... I mean, I, I do want to get you out of here. Just it'll it'll shrink our front line pretty significantly. So let, let's try that. I mean, our supplies are already pretty bad. What are we making? We have like we have like no military. Okay, so we have, we need to convert this stuff over. 
One military factory, two military factories. I mean, I don't really have a choice. Do I want to push one of these fronts right away? You know what? Actually, push the CSA front. I actually feel like this is our, our best front we've got going on right now. Are you on very careful? No, you're on normal operations. That is more or less, more or less what I want you to be on. We can make a way down towards Madison. And honestly, I think for the uh, the fronts against Huey Long, just a defensive position is really, I think, all I'm really looking for right now. Mobile warfare, grand battle plan. I'm probably more likely to go for a grand battle plan here. By the way, I think I think you were the rightful president, right? Yeah. Uh, it w grand battle plan. Yes. Oh, actually, you have two. Well, well, well. I will take both them. Absolutely. No questions asked. Where the hell are you going? Make your way back here ASAP. 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 How dare you? How dare you actually turn around and circle me, you piece of shit? If I can take you out, I think I should have an encirclement. I mean, again, it's not a real encirclement, but like a, pro uh, a quasi encirclement over in here in Minnesota. Yeah, Theodore asks you to stay still. You don't, you don't need to be doing anything. Uh, can I trade more units? I get two more divisions. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, but I think with this right now, honestly, I think that we're actually making some pretty solid progress. Even though it's only been, I think, like two months, two months of the war, we pushed decently far into the American Union state. We're pushed, we've basically we've already taken over Minnesota. Great things are happening in, in America right now. But for right now, this is going to be a great time for us to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Not joking, always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.